Okay, so this is the Euro Millions Lottery AI predictor predict lottery numbers from the past numbers. So we start off with importing NumPy import your pandas scikit learn pre-processing standard scaler because you want to put them all you know in a number form that the uh, neural networks can recognize you you've got your models sequential you've got your various layers your long short-term memory dense bi-directional dropout and then you've got your read the csv file your um, which contains all the information all the data and the first thing we want to do is read the data so we've read the data into a file into p into a data frame df now we're looking at the head to see what data we've got so we've got the date of the draw we've got balls one two three four and five we've got lucky star one lucky star two we've got yuko millionaire maker um numbers and we've got the draw number and so the latest one was at the top although it's not the latest um the file needs to be updated for the latest on this model we have we have models for all the lotteries so that's ready now so let's read it in let's have a look at the head there you go let's have a look at the tail of the file so there's the tail no that's not the tail that's the tail yeah and then we want the shape print the shape of the file 199 by 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we've got 199 rows and 10 columns so let's have a look at the data describe it so data frame df describe so we're looking at the count 199 rows the mean the standard the minimum the 25 gives you all the statistics but we don't we don't want all that information we only want certain ones so df drop we want to drop the the draw date we want to draw the uk millionaire maker and we want to drop the draw number because we don't need that all we need is the ball numbers and the lucky star numbers so we we drop them so we just run that there you go so we've dropped them then we want to scale them into a format that our neural network so we use our standard scaler data frame we transform our data frame and we look at the head of it so we've transformed it into numbers that our neural network can understand now we want to set the number of rows we want to set the window length which is the amount of games we need to take into consideration for each prediction so we're looking at just the last two games we're going to train the whole network on looking at just the last two games so we go that we count the balls seven so we, we're going to be putting seven numbers into our thing if five numbers and then your two lucky stars so then we divide our into transformer into the number of features using the rows minus the window length so we've got our transformed data frame then we look at the shape the X shape, Y shape, the X array, Y array, X1, Y1. So 
you can see the transform numbers now we get onto the big stuff let's drop down so this is our model this is the important stuff so we've um, imported sequent uh, Kiros models, Kiros layers, and our Kiros optimizer, Adam. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the party. <laughs> now we're setting up our model sequential. Then we add a bidirectional LSTM layer, which has 240. We're using input shape, which is our window length and number of features returning sequence is true then we add a dropout of 20 percent 0 0.2 is 20 percent then we add a second bi-directional lstm layer to the model another dropout of 20 percent 0 0.2 then we add another bi-directional lstm 240 layer and then we add a fourth bi-directional lstm 240 layer and then we go dense on 59 and then we connect that to our output which is again dense number of features which is seven so the number of thing is yeah and then i think we've done that haven't we? yep we've done that one. so then we move to fit the model batch size 197 epochs 50 for both one which means it's going to print out all this stuff all the uh, accuracies and the loss so let's run that and then we're going to predict using the data the head of the data frame the last three games so we take the results of the last three lottery games and we're going to use that because obviously one of them is going to be the the one that you're trying to guess and the other two are the last two games and the third one is going to be the one the numbers that you're trying to guess and then you'll see how close you are to that prediction so the model is fitting it's just working out all its calculations usually it takes about one second or millisecond is it one millisecond here we go epoch one of 50 this computer has never worked so hard in its life <laughs> When it started off to thought oh just a little bit of uh, just a little bit of uh, a few cycles a sec a few cycles a millisecond now it's fucking working its thing so there you go 25 seconds to start off with but then it drops to three seconds and 17 milliseconds and off we go so the losses starts at 99.73 and the accuracy is 21% It takes a bit of time. Obviously, this is just to show how it works. You need to experiment to get the real numbers. To get a more accurate reading, you need to experiment. <laughs> 